One second. All right. Hello, hello. And welcome to the Tribal Podcast. Um, Today's going to be a little different. It's just me this time. It's DJ. Um, I just... I just needed to vent a little bit today, I guess, because I know everybody, everybody goes through things in life. Everybody has ups and downs, and sometimes it's hard to always stay motivated. Um, And I know sometimes it's easier to just give yourself space away from responsibilities and just people in general. That way you can get yourself back to a mental state that is stable. That way going out and doing things don't feel so much like it's a chore and becoming a burden. But at the same time, Sometimes it's just, sometimes when you allow yourself to get too much space and stop everything completely, you do nothing but dig yourself into a deeper hole. And it's, it's, like I said, I I understand because like, not not everything has went perfectly or great or even good a lot of times in my life. There's a lot of times where I did just kind of throw my hands up and walk away from everything and just stay to myself. But I also never completely gave up. I... I always, whenever I, whenever I did take a break from music or I did cut myself off from being out in public or anything like that, like I always knew like it wasn't going to be permanent, but I wasn't going to put an end date on it right away, I guess, because you never know how long it takes to heal. And then also you people people don't know what you're going through and sometimes it's hard to it's harder to let people in so you just kind of keep to yourself which may work sometimes but when it gets to a point where you're always by yourself and you're constantly keeping to yourself that does nothing for you. It does absolutely nothing for you. All it does is dig a deeper hole for yourself because you go from feeling alone to being alone because eventually people are going to get tired of asking you what's wrong. Eventually people are going to get tired of wondering where you're at. People are going to get tired of getting ignored so you have to let people in you have to communicate whether it's in a relationship whether it's friends whether it's just people you work with like you have to at least let something be known or let somebody in it's you can't handle everything by yourself and that's, this is coming from somebody that feels like a lot of stress and burdens can fall onto his shoulders and he'll be cool because I've dealt with it for so long. I've Back in 2016, I started music. But at, before I even recorded, from 8th grade, I would talk to one of my friends and we would constantly talk about music 
we would constantly talk about recording music, writing music, blowing up together, all this and that. And then in 2016, we graduated and it came down to taking it serious. We're no longer kids. We have to take it serious and do it and push ourselves to do it. And I went out of my way. My grandma for my graduation present got me a laptop and I immediately went and got myself a microphone because I knew this was the start. This is where I need to start taking it serious. Went out, got myself a microphone, hit him up, was like, hey, let's record. And it was just, it was constant excuses. It was, oh, well, today doesn't work for me. Maybe tomorrow, maybe next week. Uh, I'll, I'll let you know when. I don't have a song written, I'm blah, blah, blah. And like, I'm not knocking him. Don't take this as a diss or anything. Like, it's just, there's people that want to take it serious and then there's people that are taking it serious now back then yeah like there was no reason to take it serious i guess no no material reason other than just self drive so i understand where he's he was coming from where he didn't want to he didn't want to invest too much time into it because he had stuff that seemed more achievable, I guess. I don't know. I'm not him, so I'm not going to speak for him or anything like that. I'm not going to name drop him, but that's just how it was. So it went from me trying to schedule something with him and constantly getting it rescheduled or pushed back or just excuses to me being like, well, fuck it. I'll just go ahead and do it on my own. And eventually, like, I ran out of drive to do it. And I was like, well, I guess I'll just continue clocking into Bob Evans and flipping burgers. And it it was really discouraging back then. It was very much like nobody was taking it serious with me. My my friend that I talked about it for years wasn't taking it serious with me. My mom wasn't very supportive because she didn't she didn't understand it at the time. My grandma wasn't supportive because she didn't understand it at the time. My sister, same thing. Nobody in my family was supportive at the time because I wasn't putting the work in. And that's the thing is like people won't support you unless you support you first. If you don't drive yourself to give people a reason to take you serious, nobody will. And that goes for being a recording artist. That goes for going and getting yourself a degree. That goes for becoming a family man. Like people will not take you serious unless you take yourself serious. Nothing is unachievable. There's there's things that are more out of reach than other things, but nothing is unachievable. If you want to make music, you can make music. Nobody can tell you that you can't make music because you can. Now, what's out of reach is making it your career. That's a little more out of reach, but it's achievable. But the thing is, though, is like when it comes down to it, if your sole purpose for doing something is the money it brings in, if your only thing that you're focused on is the money and the material and just like the the end goal of it one second gotta turn my phone on airplane mode if the only thing you're focused on is the material lifestyle of what that career will give you 
you're never going to have the drive to push yourself how you should. Because if you're too focused on becoming a millionaire, then your first three albums you drop, if they don't go anywhere, you're going to you're, you're going to you're going to lose motivation because you're sitting there like, oh, well, like this was supposed to make me rich. This is supposed to bring money in. And reality is it doesn't bring money in right away, just like anything else. When you go to college and are trying to get your Ph.D., all those years of college that you're going to to get your Ph.D., you're not making money like you have that Ph.D. already. You are investing into yourself. And that is any career with financial success. You have to invest into yourself first. You have to believe in yourself and push yourself and drive yourself. Because at the end of the day, the only person that can make or break you is yourself. You can wake up every morning and tell yourself you're going to get this done and this done and then go do it. Or you could wake up every morning and say, oh, well, like today I'm not feeling like it. I'll do it tomorrow. I'm. If I would have had the same energy as my friend did when I first started, I would be nowhere right now. Not saying that I'm anywhere specific at this exact moment, but I wouldn't have accomplished what I've accomplished so far no I'm not making a wealthy amount of money off of music I'm not to the point where I'm pushing luxury cars or buying expensive jewelry and it's just a dent in my pocket no I'm not I'm not there but I'm also not somebody that's sitting around saying what they're going to do. I'm doing it. I was the kid talking about what he's going to do at 16. I'm 22 now. I'm not that kid anymore. If I want something done, I'm going to get it done. And I'll be damned if anybody stops me from doing that. Because if I believe I can do it, that's all that fucking matters. I don't care what so-and-so thinks about me. I don't care if I'm on my last dollar bill. I don't care about any of that. I, I want to be successful in what I love. And people have a diff- different definition of successful. So let me explain you. Let me explain that to you. My definition of success with my music is to live my life while doing what I love to do. If I am only making enough music for a regular life where I'm making enough money off of music to pay for my car, to get a house and support my family and myself, so be it. My definition of success is to be happy with what I do. The wealth, the flashing cameras and the Uh, award trophies and the plaques and all that that to me like it's exciting I won't turn it down if the opportunity presents itself I'm that's definitely like something that I want to achieve but it's not something that I'm reaching for 
it's not something that's going to hold me back if I don't get it. I'll treat every song as if that's the song that's going to get me to where I want to be in life. In terms of like, I'll never just half-ass a song. I'll record a song, put my whole heart into it, make sure that the energy is right when it's mixed and mastered, and I'll push it, and I'll keep pushing it. And I'll just, I'll be passionate about it. And then it doesn't blow up. And guess what? I just move on to the next song, put that same energy, that same passion, that same drive behind that song. And I don't care if it blows up or not. If it does, fantastic. Now I'm I'm good. And if it doesn't, guess what? I'm moving on to the next song. I've had my entire childhood of people just laughing at me for writing in a journal, writing lyrics. I've had my family laugh at me for saying that I wanted to be a rapper. I've had my grandparents look at me like I'm crazy because of my goals that I wanted to achieve. I've had my mom sit down with me when I was younger and just really tell me like, do you really want to do this? Because you could do this instead and I'd be a lot happier if you did this. And I had to just, I, I've had to motivate myself for so long that I don't listen to other people when they try to tell me I can't do something because too often do others get told they can't do something so much that they can't believe when somebody else wants to go out of the comfort zone of society because people find it normal to go to school and become hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt for a career that they might get or they might not get or they'll be happy with or they might not be happy with people will go and get hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt and people just, everybody around them's like, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you for doing something this big. I'm happy for you. But then you get people like, I want to become an actor, or I want to make music, or I want to invent this type of thing. And that's when people are just like, well, like, I don't know about that one. I don't know about that. That seems risky. Seems it seems hella risky right now. But like, how much more riskier is it going and trying to achieve your dreams without getting in student loan debt? But how much riskier is it to get in student loan debt than it is to just go out and try and do it as an entrepreneur? There's more stories of people not making it than there are people that do make it. Because, like I said, people have different definitions of making it. People strive for the flashing cameras and the constant popularity and the articles and all this and that. People strive to be an A-list celebrity instead of just focusing on providing for themselves and the people they love. And... Wanting that A-list spot will do nothing but bring you down because 
every time you try and do something to make yourself blow up and it doesn't blow you up, you're just going to beat you're just you're just going to beat yourself up. You can't go through life constantly jumping for the stars and getting mad because you can't jump that high yet. And I say yet because, like I said earlier, anything is achievable. You just have to have that drive. You have to have people around you to push you. You have to be your own motivational speaker. When you're down bad, you can either surround yourself by people that motivate you and you can speak life within you and push yourself further and understand that where you want to be in life is coming soon. Or you can sit around and bitch and moan and say that, well, so-and-so did this and this blew them up and why isn't it working for me? Because you're not them. And life doesn't work that way. Everybody needs to just understand that if you want something in life, you have to go 10 times, 50 times, 100 times harder than the person that was before you or after you. If you constantly just look around and see, oh, well, like this person's doing well, this person blew up. This person did this. This person did that. Why are you looking at everybody else's grass when you could water your own? Like, it's just, it's so, oh. I've been doing this for going on four years now and there's many times where like I said I I wanted to give up whether it was situations that ar- arised inconveniences or just the wrong people in my corner there's been many instances where I just I just didn't I didn't feel like doing it anymore. I just wanted to give up. But that mentality only lasted for about a week. And then I was right back at it. I think the longest break I ever took was about 2 months. Which honestly it wasn't it wasn't too much of a break it, because I still went to the studio every day because even though I wasn't recording or writing or whatever I still made it a point to be there in the presence of the energy of people that did push themselves to keep going even though they weren't in my situation so it's not technically pushing themselves to keep going but like they had something driving them to want to record and being around that, watching watching the process of a song be created, motivated me. And it still motivates me. So, like... A lot of... A lot of people... I understand... Like... A lot of people have a hard time staying motivated to do something if they don't have the results. Some people want the fast results where it's right there. I give you product, I get money, and I keep going. Give, get, repeat. But that's not how everything works. Sometimes in life, you have to get 
the shit end of the stick repeatedly in order for people to take you serious and then also for you to get the experience to know what to do better next time. Because I tell you right now, if in 2016, if I released a song and it blew up, I wouldn't have known what to do after that. I I wouldn't have done the research that I did. I wouldn't have spent so much time in the studio like I have been. Because with every failure, you learn something more. And it, it gives you the desire to learn even more. Like, if I would have, if something, if one of my songs were to have blown up in 2016, like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be anywhere near what I am right now. Meaning, like, I, I would have been, if I would have been signed, I would have been screwed over. Because after, after 2016, I dropped a project. It didn't do well. People gave me their feedback, and it wasn't good. And so it made me want to push myself even harder to do better next time. And then also with it not blowing up or anything, it made me look into the industry and how it worked. And till this day, I still do research and look into contracts and stuff like that. I, your failures, you can either take your failures as learning lessons or you can take them as stop signs. And if you choose to stop after a failure, then you just weren't cut out for it. And that's just how it is. Because nothing in life is handed to you. And if you expect it to be handed to you, then you're just, you're, you're going to be highly disappointed. Because if... If I were to have just waited around and waited for my friend to get the motivation he needed to record, I would still be waiting till this day. I wouldn't have released a single song. I wouldn't have met the people I've met. I wouldn't have created the team that I've created. It just wouldn't have existed. Because... When you wait for somebody else to do something for you, you're just going to be disappointed. If you solely rely on one person, you're just going to be disappointed. Because sometimes people just have two different outlooks. They don't want the same thing as you. And I don't know. If you have if you have an obstacle, if you have an obstacle you're trying to get over, it's up to you to get over it. It's not up to so and so, it's not up to your mom, it's not up to your best friend, it's not up to anybody else but you because that is your obstacle. It is your responsibility to get over that. Because people can be in your ear and tell you and motivate you all they want, but it's up to you to take the action to do that. It's up to you to analyze the situation and figure out how to execute it properly. Excuses only get you one where in life. Sorry. Excuses only get you one place in life, and that's nowhere. And I've heard many excuses over the years from many people about many things. (laughs) 
uh, sorry, this is definitely a different podcast than usual. But like I said, I just I just wanted to really vent and get some stuff off my mind because I I see potential in so many people and I want to help people grow. I don't want to be the only person that's doing something bigger than themselves. I don't I can, I can do that, but I don't want to. And I know a lot of people, when people get irritated or they say that I'm being selfish or taking somebody's spotlight or just riding their wave, whatever it is, like, I don't. I know who I am as a person, and I don't need to prove myself to you. I don't. Because you'd be surprised how much I've really tried to share a lot of what I have. And I don't have a lot, but I I have enough to share because I don't like excluding I don't like excluding people in my group at least I want everybody to celebrate achievements together I want everybody to do when I when we do shows I want everybody to show out I want everybody to pop up When I do a music video, I want everybody involved with it. When we have a buzz, I want everybody to collectively or individually have something to give to help push that. I I know that there's people that think that I'm just selfish with my time and I want the tribe to be all me, me, me. And that's not all, that's not at all what it is. Because the second that somebody drops something or teases something or whatever, I'm the first or one of the first to like and share it or to push it or if they're working on a project I'm I'm somebody that's there throughout most of the session and really trying to push it in terms of just working on it and bringing life to it and everything It's frustrating to me. It's frustrating because from the outside looking in, I know how it looks. I know how it looks when promoting the tribe is just promoting one artist's music. I want everybody to be successful. I don't want it to just be me. I don't want it to just be so-and-so from down the block. I want everybody to be successful. Especially everybody in the tribe. Because we've worked too hard to just give up sometimes it's draining sometimes it's really it's really draining sometimes because
I know people lose hope and get discouraged and have stuff going on in their life to the point where they're not mentally ready to work. I know that. But you have to communicate to somebody. I'm going to cut this. It's draining a lot because when it comes down to it, when it comes down to it, like I said, you can push, you, you push yourself. You push yourself to do whatever you want to do. And if you don't believe in yourself, then that's something you got to work out on your own. The people I care for, I try to push them to do whatever it is that they want to do in life. And I want to support them through it. But they got to support themselves as well. Because you can't, you can't walk people through life. That's just not, it's, it's not something that can be asked for or done. Because I'm going to try and motivate people as much as I can. I'm going to try and help out as much as I can. But at the end of the day, I'm also trying to get my shit together. I have my own career that I'm striving for. And if we all take rest stops and wait for the other person to catch up, like, we're never going to reach our destination. I hope nobody takes this personally or nobody takes this and thinks that I'm pointing fingers at them because this is just, this is just me venting at the moment. This is me getting some stuff off my mind. I believe, I believe if if you want to do something in life, there's nothing that will get in your way except for yourself. You create your own barriers. You create your own hurdles. And yeah, I'm not saying that life doesn't happen and shit doesn't fall apart, but it's up to you to pick those pieces back up and do something. You can either you can either keep it pushing through all the difficult times or you can just sit there and reminisce on how things used to be. I guess. I don't know. Life changes, things happen. Feelings get hurt. People live, people die. And it's hard. It's really hard. It's hard to get over. It's hard to cope. It's hard to get through physical and mental strain but if you want to do it you can do it surround yourself by good people and if you don't have those people around you then be that person to yourself 
and it's easier said than done for sure but it's it's possible Growing up with depression and bipolar and anxiety, constantly hearing people tell me that I can't do this or shouldn't do this or just being bullied for how I was or how I acted, being different, like, it was discouraging. I didn't really have friends. I didn't I didn't really I don't really have anybody in my corner. I, I got home and stayed in my room, went to school and stayed at my desk. Just kept to myself. Really didn't speak on anything really. I just kept to myself and wrote in my lyric book and no matter how many people made fun of me or tried to get me down I I didn't really care excuse me It got to me. <clears throat> it got to me a lot. But at the end of the day, when it came down to it, like, when my mom, my sister, my grandparents, my friends, my classmates, when everybody was against me, or didn't believe in me. There was always one thing I could turn to to give myself that drive again, and that was music. And then it went from me relying on music to eventually just getting my own confidence within me, which took time. Because, like I said, I I talked about doing music since 16, but I didn't record it until 18. And I was writing music well before 16. But, like, I didn't talk about taking it serious till 16. And then I didn't record my first track until 18. So, that's years and years of my confidence just being shot and eventually it just it, it gave me thick skin to just be like fuck you fuck you I'm going to do what I want because it makes me happy if it doesn't make you happy it doesn't matter because it's making me happy and are you doing what you want to do in life because I sure hear you complaining quite a bit I don't care if I have to work a regular job for the rest of my life and do music on the side. I'm going to do music because I love it. It's my passion. It's what I want to do with my life. And if I have to do it on the side, that's part of my life and I'm going to do it. But if it becomes my career and it becomes something that financially sets me for life and if it becomes something that brings me success then I'm gonna be fucking excited about it like that's what I want but it's not what I need I don't need to live my life off of music. I want to live my life off of music. And that's the difference.
Too many people complain about not having time to do this, time to do that, whatever it is. Too many people complain about anything. Whether it's because they're afraid to be different or it just gets in the way of their schedule or whatever. People just have excuses. If you really want to do something, there's no excuses. If you truly want to do something. Because you'll make time. You'll make time for it. If you want to be in a relationship, but you work long hours, you'll make time. Whether it's two hours every other day to go see your significant other, you'll make time. Whether you want to get in shape, sorry, whether you want to get in shape, but the gyms are closed, you'll make time. You'll make time out of your schedule to do something at home. You'll make time out of your schedule to make sure you're saving up for weight equipment. If you have a crazy amount of shit to do in your day, if if you have to go to Michigan for the weekend and come back and record a podcast, even though you're tired, you'll make time. <laughs> uh. There might be people younger than you that become successful. There might be people your age that become successful. There might be people that are nowhere near as talented as you that become more successful. But you can't let that stop you from going. You can't let that discourage you from doing what you want to do. Because if seeing somebody else's success discourages you and makes you lose motivation, then I I really don't know what to tell you. Because honestly, that should give you even more drive. That should make you want to go and go 10 times harder. <clears throat> Excuse me. Because me personally, when I see my favorite artist drop a new album or drop a new music video or just do an interview or anything, just do something, that motivates me. It motivates me to do something, do more. Even if I'm already doing a shit ton at the moment, if I'm juggling a bunch of shit all at the same time, when I see somebody furthering their life and being furthering their success in any type of way, that motivates me to keep going. If I see somebody new getting a buzz and popping up, popping off, whatever, that motivates me doesn't discourage me it definitely makes me wonder like oh man like what was I doing wrong with what I was doing for this guy or this girl to blow up and be at said age but I didn't blow up at said age it makes me think like that it makes me think more 
business wise because it makes me interested in that person and do like a deep dive into that person and see what they did the moves they made the the people that he interacted with or she interacted with like it makes it makes me it makes me want to get more knowledge from that person without speaking to them because if i could speak to them i would but i I, at the moment no i can't i'm not gonna do meet and greets for everybody and forget half my questions and shit when i could just watch interviews and do a deep dive about them on the internet When I see people blow up, it motivates me because it makes me wonder what can I do better? What can I do more? And what don't I, what could I focus less on? But for some people, it it makes them not want to do it, I guess. There's many things in life that are going to make you want to give up. Whether it's somebody else's success, whether it's your own personal problems, or whether it's just lack of drive, which is also a personal problem. And all of it, all of those, all of those instances that could stop you from doing what you want to do in life all have to do with you because you choose what stops you from doing what you want to do if you're taking a break to better yourself and come back better that's different but when you're just giving up because it's too stressful or you're not seeing instant results or whatever, then that's all you. Nobody can help you with that except for you. At the end of the day, it's you that will look back on your day, your week, your month, your year, your life. It'll be you looking back at all that and questioning if you did enough. And it'll be you knowing if you did what made you happy or not. If you want to do something in life, do it. No hurdle is too big. And no problem is too difficult. Everything is achievable. Be the person that motivates you. See you guys.